Hi, in this video of HTML, we are going to cover the formatting tags. Formatting tags, as the name says, which is used to modify the output. All right. So how we can do the formatting of a HTML document? We can do it from these formatting tags, which are coming now, like the bold, italics, underline, superscript, subscript, like bold, italic, underline, you know. When you want to show some text at the bottom, like if you are from chemistry background, there is something called H2O. So 2 is at the bottom at this you know, smaller size. So that is the subscript. Similarly, superscript like 10 square, x square. So that is the superscript tag. Big, small will basically modify the size of the font from the current font size. Like big will make it bigger as the name says, small tag will make it smaller all right and mono spaced mono space like when you use different alphabets like i o are having different area consumption like i take less space than o so if you want that all the characters should take a equal space then that part you can use the mono space tag so let's see all these tags practically and see how they change the appearance or the formatting of the web page. So now in context of formatting tags, I will start the things with the bold tag that is represented by the letter B. So inside B tag, I will write like this is bold. So as you can see, this particular text is shown as bold. Similarly, I can go for the I tag that is the italics so it will convert a simple text into the italics font so as you can see this is italics all right so just to put some a gap I will use the BR tag here all right and I will do that again after the italics now U tag I will use for the underline so basically if you want to underline some important text out in a paragraph or maybe for any purpose you can use this underline tag that is the u tag all right so as you can see these are the things in case you want to put multiple tags in a same so you will have to apply the lefo in that for example for a single text i want to use b as well u as well and i as well all right so this is my text is the text now after that I will have to first close I then I will close U and then I will close the bold tag all right so this is what I call the LIFO last and first route so this was the tag which opened at the last I will close it first so here is the text all right it's bold it's italic and underlined Similarly, we do have a tag here called strike, but before that, let me put a BR again. Yeah, so now let's talk about the strike tag, which basically strikes out a particular text which you will put inside. All right, let's say this is strike tag. So I just use the word strike between this strike tag. So that will be okay. I didn't close that. All right. So only this one will be striked out. Similarly, in formatting, I do have some more tags that is the superscript and subscript tag. So let's say if I want to use something like a subscript, so for that I will use like H then I will use the superscript tag that is subscript tag that is sub 2 and then I'll close this sub, sub tag all right and then O so let me break the line again so you can see let me increase the font size it is the subscript when you want some tag to be shown in this subscript manner similarly we do have the superscript like if i want to write 10 cube so 10 then i will use superscript cube and then i will close that superscript 
all right so this is the 10 cube so now let's continue with some more tags that is the small and big tag so basically for that what I'll do this is small text all right and I have enclosed that inside the small tag so this particular text will be smaller than the before text right like this is is written before than this so this one is comparatively bigger than this particular text all right similarly we do have the big tag all right that is for in that what I'll do this is big big text all right so I'll close it here and as you can see this one is comparatively bigger than this text all right so these are some tags which you can use for the formatting purposes